South Korean prosecutors on Monday asked the court to sentence Cho Do Soon to one year in prison after the convicted child rapist broke his curfew and defied an order to remain at home late last year. On December 4, Cho left his residence in Ansan, southwest of Seoul, at around 9.05 p.m., although he's not allowed to go outside between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m., and allegedly wandered around a police box nearby. Joe's breach was immediately reported to the Justice Ministry's tracking center, which monitors criminals' movements based on electronic signals from GPS-attached anklets. Joe stayed outside for more than 40 minutes despite getting calls from the police to return home immediately. When asked about the reason why he had ventured out, Joe said, I fought with my wife. I went out to cool off. He pleaded for leniency, saying that he doesn't have money to pay for a fine. The 71-year-old Joe was released from prison in December 2020 after serving 12 years in prison for brutally raping a 10 8 year old girl in 2008. Joe then returned to his home in Ansan's Wadong district amid strong protests from the neighborhood residents. 딸 가지신 부모님들도 계시고 주위 보시면 애들도 많은데 아무래도 그분들은 좀 불안하지 않을까 싶습니다. 사건도 되게 유명하고. In addition to a nighttime curfew, Cho has been ordered to wear an electronic tracking anklet for seven years and have his personal information accessible to the general public for five years through the state-run sex offender information service. The court, meanwhile, will reach a verdict on whether to send Cho back to jail on March 20th.